So we've just finished our walking tour and I've made two new friends. <laughs> Um, we're gonna go to a milk bar now which is kind of like a buffet or like a cafeteria and it's meant to be really really good food and really cheap we're absolutely freezing so we've been walking around for about two hours now and we're just going to the nearest milk bar <laughs> which is like <laughs> Good morning! That is a lie because it's actually the afternoon time. Um, I think it's like one o'clock now. So today I just got up, I kind of went into, I got the bus into like the newer city centre because I'm staying in the old town and I had a look in Zara. It's raining. <laughs> so yeah, I had a look in Zara and then I went and got lunch and now I'm going to the Museum of Life Under Communism and one of the girls I was with yesterday is going to meet me there so yeah it's raining today obviously as you can see so I don't want to be walking around too much so I'm trying to do stuff that's inside <laughs> and I'm going to put the camera away now because it's going to get absolutely soaked <laughs> Monday today and um, so today got up had a shower had breakfast and I'm gonna go to the Old Town Square that is the Barbican gate so it's the entrance to the Old Town the day before yesterday after we had lunch I went back I did my laundry then got up, had some Italian food, and later on I met this Ukrainian boy in the hostel, and it was his birthday, so he asked me to share a cake with him. So we had some cake and tea, and we talked a bit, and he gave me one Ukrainian, whatever their currency is, uh, it's about three cent, I think he said. So he, he was very excited that that was going back to Ireland, and he was also a bit confused. He pointed at my hair and then he pointed at an orange packet. He was like, how are you Irish? And I was like, um, not all Irish people have ginger hair. So I'm gonna go to the old town today, have a walk around, and then I'm gonna go to the Polski Museum, which is the museum of Jews in Poland. And apparently that can take like, you could spend like three, four hours there. So I'm gonna have lunch before I go and then spend the afternoon there. Tomorrow I have to be up early because my train is at like quarter to 10 or something and I have to get a taxi over there so I'll probably get up at like seven ish and then leave at half eight maybe just in case just to be on time you know come have a look around Warsaw with me on my last full day I'm just at the museum now it's about a 15 minute walk from where I'm staying and like a 20 minute walk from the old town so this is it behind me here. I didn't have lunch, I just had apple pie and tea. So we'll see how long I last before I get hungry and have to leave. <laughs> that woman that I just showed you, she was crossing the road with me and she was trying to get the dog to go in the buggy and the dog was just like running away from her. So she's finally got him in the buggy now. <laughs> so I finished the museum a while ago it's really good but it's really really big I think I only spent two hours there because I didn't read everything there's a lot of stuff to read but it does like when Jews first came to Poland and stuff and everything that happened right up to recent times
it's quite cold today i think it's like minus one and it did kind of start snowing a minute ago like there's a lot of snow clouds so i assume it's gonna snow again that's nice for my last day in warsaw but i'm just walking back through a park now which is nice they have a lake and ducks oh ducks look at all those chickens so I'm just at the train station now in Warsaw and I'm waiting for my train to go back to Krakow and I'm there for one night and then I'm flying home. So I'll probably end the vlog here. This will be the last of the Poland vlogs for now. I would come back like during the summer. I think this would be a really good place to do a road trip or something because there's so many nice little like towns and villages you could stop in and you could go to the countryside more. And it's really warm and really cheap in the summer. Well, it's cheap all the time, but it's really warm in the summer. I have, I think, about 20 minutes till my train gets here. And then it's about a four-hour train journey. Because I I think you can get a three-hour one, but I booked the four-hour because it was cheaper. And I don't mind, like, I have nothing to do today, so... I'm staying in Krakow, next to the train station and next to a shopping centre. So I'll probably just get there, get some food, have a look around the shopping centre. And then my flight tomorrow... I think I have to be in the airport for like one or two maybe. Yeah, I won't be I won't be doing much, but I hope you enjoyed all the Poland vlogs and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you wherever I go next time.